Okay, so it snowed last night. Went from no snow to this, which I knew was going to happen. And that's why I spent all that time cutting all those two by twos. Because um, I didn't know how long it was going to be cold. Oh, my hands are freezing. Um, but I have a couple holes in my roof on the bus. So to avoid um, that ruining all the lumber that I've already put down, take off these boots so they don't get snow everywhere. Oh, my feet are cold. Um, I'm gonna see if I can seal them up. Oops. It doesn't look like much. I've shown these to y'all before. So this one, which a little bit of water's coming in, probably because the snow's melting. And then yeah, this one. And a little bit of water is coming. Um, I'm not really sure what to use. It'll be temporary because I do want to seal it from the outside. Holy shit, it's cold. Oh, oh my god, it's like 20 degrees outside. My feet are cold. So, just shows you that that insulation's not that great. Uh, whew. I do not want to stay on this bus when it's 20 degrees outside. I'm just going to seal it up. I also have this big old hole right here behind this. This has kind of kept all the crap from coming in. Um, Again, this is where the AC was. The people that had the bus before put just like a window unit in. And we took that out because it's AC going to me. Um, I do plan on putting a mini split in at some point. But for now, I'm gonna cover that up. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna do real ghetto. I'm just gonna put a trash bag on there for now and tape it with this Gorilla Tape just to keep the moisture from coming in and ruining. The lumber I do have down. Uh, golly, this floor is so cold. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go get some tennis shoes because this floor is freezing. And I'm gonna get sick. Way too cold out here for this. I don't know if he works on their bus in 20 degree weather, but that must have a heater on there because this shit is crazy. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh, that Jeez, it's cold. Okay, so I have three holes right here. You can see this one. Ooh, there's some right there. But I forgot I also have one down here. Because the previous owner hit a tree or something. It is so cold. I hope that the insulation actually helps with the amount of cold that I'm feeling right now. Um, because obviously the ceiling and the walls are not insulated, just the floor. But I had to put on shoes because this was... This is way too cold. I don't want to get sick because my feet are cold. So I have... JB Weld. And I had this left over from my boat. I thought maybe. But I feel like it's too cold right now to do it. 15 to 25 minutes. Probably. I can't reach in there. So, JB Weld, which makes sense, but it would make more sense to do it from the outside, which I cannot do because it's covered. I also have great stuff, which I was going to use to finish sealing up from the parts of the floor that I didn't completely cover with the insulation um, because that would have required ridiculously precise cuts and that just seemed like way too much time I can just go back and do this since I'm gonna put framing over the corners anyways um I did mention that 
I learned that a floating floor means you don't have to drill it into the floor, which I did on a few of the boards. Um, so yesterday I put a board down the front of the bus, like a framing board that's going to frame around the floor. And I can tell no, those boards is actually pulling it down. But because of the cold air, like these, it was cold yesterday, it was not this cold. Um, I don't know if you can tell. This board right here and that board, they're kind of lifted up. And I think that's just because of the cold air. It wasn't like that yesterday. But as you can see, I have this board, which would be like the framing for the, um, the bunk beds, because I think I'm gonna put the bunks right here. So when I get this board down and it'll be drilled into the wall, like I'll make a box, um, it holds that board down. So that is the idea of the floating floor, which I didn't figure out until after it already started. You know, just trying to help y'all out so y'all don't make the same mistake I did. Learn as we go on the show. So, one further investigation, which is what I originally thought was the case. This great stuff does not need to be used in temperatures below 60 degrees, and it is 25 degrees. So, because I don't want to waste it, I'm not going to use it. Um, if I open this and start sealing these cracks, I would have ended up sealing all the stuff on the floor because once you open this bottle, you got to finish it. Um, otherwise, it dries up, unless you know of another way. But every time I've used it in the past, that was the case. Um, I know they do sell some that you can like start and then reuse later, but the one I got last time did not do that. So. This is a no-go today because it's too cold. Um, if you have a boat though, this stuff is great because I've had to use it on our boat while it was in the water because it leaks um, and it doesn't work underwater. It will set. It's a pretty good product. Um, dang it. Any, any suggestions? Doing this before it froze, I think that was the best suggestion. Sealing up the leaks before the snow comes. Probably would have been a good idea. But I didn't do that. I cut two by twos. And now it's too cold and I don't even want to work on the bus. I didn't, I will say, because I've started on the layout, you'll see some in the video. The layout, I feel like, is the most important part right now because then I can start building my frames, which will help hold the floor down. Um, and then I'll know where to lay the electrical and the outlets from where I want everything. I didn't realize how hard it was going to be to choose a layout. Do I want the bed to be a queen size? Do I want the bed to be a full size? Do I want the bathroom to be next to the master bed, the wet room, the shower? Um, where do I want the toilet? The only thing I'm for sure on is that I want the bunk beds right here because it makes the most sense in my head and the kids want bunk beds so since this is a family adventure they're getting bunk beds um but yeah the layout's super important and i'm just trying to figure out my way through that so that i can move on to the next step but it is very cold today now that the snow is melting it's leaking in there and there's nothing i can really do on the inside so but if I just try to dry this and then these are big old holes. Try this and I don't know how I actually dried this is. But if I can get some foil tape on there, maybe it will keep it from leaking too much for now. I don't recommend this, but I'm stubborn. I don't like getting the ladder out.
So this is what we have. It's just foil tape. I should have done a picture of the holes before, but inside it's too much money. Um, I brushed off all the snow and then I patched it. It's like a thin one right here. You can kind of see where it's bubbling up and then it's all bent. I guess they had a tree and then we have this one over here. So I feel like I sealed it pretty good. Now, when all that melts, it should work. Again, I don't recommend this. But when you're in a pinch and you don't want this water leaking, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. It's cold. So we got it done. I think it's sealed up. Uh, Best builds, you know? Should have done this when it wasn't freezing cold. But now I know once it's a little bit warmer, under 60 degrees, I'll go in and seal those holes on the inside with that great stuff. And then we won't have this issue again. But yeah, hopefully that tape kind of keeps it from leaking too much. That's the goal and the plan. And in my head, it seems like it'll work. We'll find out.